Ready? Yeah. Okay, this is show you how to do a like a encapsulation with a quartz tube. And uh, you can use oxygen or propane, it's an oxygen hydrogen torch. First, you wear the safety shield and the hot gloves, take the quartz tube, put it in front of the, the flame about an inch and a half out, and rotate it. You see it start to turn like white, yellow? You see how it bends a little bit? Keep it moving. And pull outward. It's thin, you can just push it through the flame like that, and you can um, dull the ends a little bit like that. Okay. At this point, you will take your samples, put them inside. Maybe you put a little piece of uh, titanium on the inside. The whole point of this process is to make sure that your samples don't get oxidized when you heat them in a furnace. <laughs> okay, so put your samples in, titanium in, and we're gonna to start to neck down the other side of the tube so that when they're in here, you don't have to uh, heat it so much to pinch off the other half, All right? Because if you're trying to do it with a hand torch, um, it takes a long time to neck down something this diameter. So, so neck down the other side. You also don't want to expose your samples in there to this high heat, so you want to make sure they're away from the area. And you're trying to give this a neck that's like um, pretty small, so it so it'll finish quick with the hand torch. So maybe like a centimeter or less. Try to make, try to not twist the glass like I did. So once it's like, let's get a neck in there that's pretty small. Okay, once you get a neck that's like that small and it can support its own weight, let it cool off. And then you can shut off the, the gas. And the uh, cylinders also this point it could be a little fragile there but you want to stick the loose end hopefully you, um, you do a little bit shorter so it'll actually fit in here but put the loose end up into here and you're going to uh, turn on the argon tank you're going to basically fill this up with argon let it flow and circulate through this and you may also pull a vacuum from the other side do a few cycles of Put in argon, close the argon, pump it out. Put in more argon, pump it out. Um, and then, basically, that's like a, they call a poor man's vacuum. You're getting rid of all the oxygen on the inside of this. While the vacuum's pulling, usually you have a vacuum gauge. There's a dial up here to tell you what the vacuum level is going to be. Um, get it as low as you can get it. And then use the hand torch while the vacuum's running to pinch off the other the end. And then it's all set.